Welcome to The Leather Journey. I'm Dex, and tonight, the continuing series on, on wax play, uh, we're going to go back, jump back, and talk briefly about candles and candle dripping. Uh, if you look at wax play on YouTube or on the web, mostly what you see is candle, candle dripping. Um, I personally don't like it, but it's a part of wax play, and so therefore we're going to talk some about it. Uh, for candle dripping, you want to use low temperature candles, so you might start with emergency candles from, uh, say, the dollar store, or go up on Etsy, find a candle vendor that's pouring low temperature candles for erotic play. You'll find them, they come in pillars, in votives, uh, in little pitchers, and when you use a pillar, you want to light that candle a few minutes before you're going to play so that it has time to pool some wax. You're always going to want to test the candle against the inside of your arm to make sure it's not too hot or how hot it is. You can adjust that temperature by the distance that you pour it. Uh, the longer the drip of wax stays in the air, the more it has time to cool off before it hits the skin. What you don't want to do is use candles or, or tapers that are burning so hot you have to get up on a six foot ladder to be able to drip them down on the wax bottom so that the, the wax has six foot of air to pass through and cool off before it gets to someone. No, you want to be down close to your wax bottom and be able to have fun and play. So that's candle play. Now when you get into advanced wax play, and we're going to demonstrate some of this later in the series, uh, you can use your paraffin pot to lay a coat of wax all over, let's say, the back or the area that you're going to be waxing. And then once that paraffin pot has laid, been, uh, wax has been laid down, you can kind of consider it a palette and a protective barrier, if you will, of wax between your play and the bottom. Uh, and once I've laid a coat of paraffin out of a wax pot across someone's back, then I could pretty much take any taper or any candle that I buy uh, at the store and not worry about the temperature it's burning at if I want to do some artistic wax play and make different patterns and designs and, and whatnot on someone in play. I could do that. Uh, I could even use hotter burning birthday candles as long as I have that paraffin pot wax down first as a protective coat. So that's going to be it for candle play. You might see me drip a candle or two, but the remainder of this series is going to focus on the advantages of using paraffin pot play and what all we can do with five pounds of wax in a paraffin pot when we have a willing wax bottom.